Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd uh, like to talk to you about uh, the best practice for to switching to solar from Lucene, and there are really three reasons in my book. So reason number one um, is you get past 50,000 documents in your Lucene index. Um, just like Psycho suggests, once you get over that hump, uh, the search performance of Lucene search engine compared to solar starts degrading. Uh, reason number two is that you have multiple delivery instances in Sitecore. Uh, yes, you can get away with running Lucene on those. Uh, however, it's painful. Lucene is great for single Sitecore instance environments, for development environments, QA testing, uh, so forth, where you have CM and CD um, either running on the same environment or you have just a single delivery instance. So no load balancing delivery. Once you start uh, scaling out your delivery, uh, I recommend switching over to solar simply because it's easier. You, know, you don't bring a, a knife to a gunfight, and that's why you don't bring Lucene to a scaled environment. Uh, you could do it. You could get away with it. You could hack it. You could uh, try to use some sort of synchronization tools uh, for synchronizing indexes. You could um, manually rerun the index uh, every time you publish. Um, good luck with that. <laughs> I've seen uh, companies do all sorts of tricks trying to trying to avoid having to switch to solar, but at the end of the day, uh, you know that's really what I recommend, and it just makes life much easier. And reason number three is when you have multiple processing servers in Sitecore. Uh, even if you're running on a single uh, delivery box, so most likely by the time you get to multiple processing servers, you you have already switched to solar because of multiple delivery instances. However, if uh, your uh, website has a ton of analytics and personalization, and you just went to town on your AB and multivariate split testing, uh, you might end up having um, uh, multiple processing servers before you actually forced to scale out due to your traffic. Very unlikely, but let's say if that happens, that's when you also want to go to solar because the analytics index has to be shared between between all the processing servers. Now, a quick um, thing to just just to go back to reason number one for the fifty thousand item uh, limit, uh, you got to be careful. That's fifty thousand items total, and what I mean by that is uh, take a look here. So if we start off with uh, an empty site, for instance, this is. Pretty much blank. I may have created a couple items here and there, but if you look here, we have 17,219 search results right from the start. And if we launch Luke for Lucene, and if we try to um, open that index, that number is actually very close to the real number of documents. So it's at 17,467. So you're roughly about 17,500 uh, records in. So you're at what, 12, uh, 20, 30, uh, 32,500 roughly left, right? So uh, not 50,000, so plan accordingly. So it's not 50 extra, it's 50 total. So really, once you install Sitecore, you're already, what, almost a third there. So keep that in mind. So three reasons, 50,000 items in an index or over, start thinking about solar. Nothing bad is going to happen if you don't switch at that point. I've seen solutions uh, run and perform well, you know, uh, above well above that number. However, uh, you know, it, it all depends on the implementation and queries. Uh, it's you know better be safe than sorry. So kind of keep that as a rule of thumb. So 50,000 items one, uh, multiple delivery instances two, and multiple processing servers three. Hope you liked this video, so give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and uh, for more tips like this, check out CMSBestPractices.com. Until then, over and out.